Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today I want to show you a product that was sent to me by this company called UD Power, and they make these solar um, generators. It's good for when you're off grid, when you don't have your regular 110 volts in your house. It has all of the uh, charging ports that you'll need, but I'll go into that in just a minute. Let me bring it in. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. First thing I want to show you is that it's right here. It does have the, uh, the outputs right here for the regular 110 volts. Uh, it also has the ability to use a USB connector as well as a couple of other connectors. You do have the ability to charge it remotely from your car as you're driving in case the power was to go out. But it does come in handy whenever you're, uh, whenever you're outside and you don't have the power to actually power up your devices. The C500 also has the ability to jumpstart your car if your battery was to go dead. Okay, and you press this button here and you can control the lights, you can turn them on and you can see it lights up and then you press the button one, two, and three and it'll bring it from the low, medium to high. It's all personal preference, whatever you choose. Okay. So uh, let me just show you uh, what it has here. The screen right on the front right here. It tells you what the state of charge is. Here it's a 98% uh, charged. We're going to bring it over later on and we're going to actually plug it in and charge it up so you see how it charges as well. It also is capable of charging through a solar panel and we will bring it over and show you on the solar panel how it charges. All right, so uh, this is where the charging port is right here and it's fairly light. It does come in handy whenever you're doing any kind of camping or anything like that. All right, so let me show you what comes inside the box. This is what comes with it. It comes with a cable like this. The cable plugs into your cigarette lighter in your vehicle or a, uh, a power port in your vehicle. And of course, it comes with a power pack to charge it up. But we'll go into this in just a little bit. All right, so we'll just put this away for a minute. And then I'm going to show you how it works. And I'm going to show you then how it actually charges and how we can charge this power pack up. Uh, this is the book that comes with it. It tells you what the capacity is of it. And on the first page, it gives you all the particulars about the unit itself. And as I said, this is a uh, this is the C500. They do have a 600, and I believe they have it like an 1800 as well. There's quite a few of them. All right, but uh, this is the unit here. Let's plug it in and let's see how it works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're out in the backyard. We're going to take our trimmer that we're using if the battery was to go dead. We'll put the charger in here. We turn it on. Make sure it's on. Press this button here, which then turns these outlets on right here. And then you can see it actually starts to charge the unit here. All right, so you can charge it remotely away from a 110 volt power source. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect that. Next thing it comes in very handy for is if you're out in the field and your cell phone is going dead, you can charge up your cell phone just like this. We plug it in here, turn this power on right here, just like this. Plugs in. And you can see now that it's charging the cell phone just the way it's supposed to. All right, but how does it work to power something like a leaf, a leaf blower? <clears throat> so let's grab a leaf blower, let's plug it in here, and let's see how that works. Okay, so here's our leaf blower. We're going to take our cable. We're going to turn on. Turn on these outlets right here. We're going to take this, plug it in there just like that. We'll take this, we'll plug it into our blower like that, and then we'll turn it on and we'll see if it works. And as you can hear, it works just the way it's supposed to. And you can watch your right here how much 
and you can watch right here how much power is still left in the unit and how many watts it's actually drawing. Let me show you one more time. All right? And it shows you what the wattage is that is drawing. Okay. Now, if by chance you forget to turn this unit off, after, I believe it's after a couple of hours, it'll actually turn off by itself. But the way you turn it off is just press it like this, and it turns right off. All right, let's get over. We're going to try it on a solar panel, and we'll see if it can be charged through a solar panel. So let's go over here to our solar panel, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so here's our solar panel now. We have the solar panel set up right here. We're going to take this, plug it in right here, just like that. And now if you look on the screen right here, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it says input, and it's charging right now through the solar panel itself. Now, granted, today is an overcast day. There's really not that much sun, but on a sunny day, this would show you how many watts it was actually charging through the solar panel. But as I said, today is a very overcast day, so we can't see the amount of watts that's charging. And as you can see, it shows you right here what the state of charge is, and then it's charging up. All right, let's go test it on a, uh, on a light, and we'll see how it works on the light as well. And then we'll, we'll connect it up, and we'll see how it actually charges. Okay, now here when the sun comes out, and we have our solar panel, Right here, you can see that it's charging and it shows you how many watts it's actually charging. So we're charging 58 watts right now. So it should take us 0.2 or 0.3 hours now to actually fully charge this unit here. And it does have an eco mode. I don't know if I told you about that, but it has an eco mode too. All right, so uh, all right, just wanted to show you what it looked like be in charge with the solar panel. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm in my garage just because I could turn the lights out and it'll be fairly dark. All right, so this is the unit here. Let me turn the lights out. And you know what, let me turn it on first and I'll show you what I mean. Turn it on. So the unit's on. We're gonna turn on the power right here. And that'll turn all lights on. Let me just turn the light off in the garage here. And this is just running now solely off the power, um, the solar generator right now. So let me just uh, give you an idea of what it looks like when we turn it off. All right, so we're going to turn it off right here. All right, so as you can see, it's fairly dark in here. Let's turn it back on. And there we go. Now, according to what this is telling me right here, we're at 97% charge. The output right now is 48 watts, and it gives, it'll tell me it'll run for 4.5 hours. So let me zoom you in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, it shows you on the display how long you have and how much power you need. And as I said on the side over here, where you have, you can plug your cell phone or whatever you need to charge up. You can charge it up right here as well. Again, I told you about the power. Um, the power saving cell, which is called the eco mode. And let me show you now the uh, charging, what comes with it in the packaging. So this is what comes in the package. Of course, we have our book that tells you all about what's the output and what the input would be. This is the cable here we have, is the charging cable itself, just like this. It's a two-part cable that you just take. This piece plugs directly into here. This obviously goes into an outlet. And then this 
just plugs right in here just like that and you charge it up. Okay, something else I want to point out is about the charging, the different ways of charging it. As I said, you could charge it through the regular household current. You plug it in and it charges this way. You could charge it through a uh, USB-C charger port, which is right here, which is right there on the unit itself. You could charge it through there. Or if you want to charge it really quickly, you can charge it with the regular uh, 110 outlet in your home and the USB port in your home, and you'll charge it up a lot quicker than you normally would. And of course, you have the other option to charge it in your car while you're driving your car. And these are the ports here. This is your normal charging port, and right here is where your USB um, C charger would plug into. Okay, so let me show you exactly how those lights work uh, now that we're inside where it's a little bit darker. What you do is you come over and you turn on the unit itself. You press and hold this button for two or three seconds. It comes on and it shows you the, the power supply that's in there. It's 98% charged. And it'll actually, sitting like this, it'll take 99 hours to discharge. All right, the way we turn these lights on right here is you just press this button and release it. And it turns on to the low setting. It's using one watt of electricity, as you can see. Press it again. Now it's a little bit brighter. It's using two watts. Press it a third time, and it's using four watts. And as you can see, it'll run for 80, whether 81, almost 85 hours, just the way it is with just this light here. Now to turn it off, you just press the button, and it goes off. Okay, now to put it into SOS mode, after you turn the unit off, you press it and hold the button for a couple of seconds, and it goes into what's called the SOS mode. Three dots, three dashes, three dots, three dashes. So that way if you're lost someplace out in the woods, you can activate the SOS and it'll run for 99 hours. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay, so that's it. It works pretty, pretty well. Uh, as I said, it's a lower wattage. It's not a high wattage output on it. It's 400 watts continuous and it's 800 watts surge, which means that if you have an item such as this, uh, this, this leaf blower that needs to turn on, it'll power it up. But as the voltage decreases or the wattage decreases once the unit is running, it'll continue to run. Uh, I do like it for a, a fan. If you're camping and you're, uh, you need to have uh, your cell phone charged, you need lighting, uh, you need whatever in your campsite, this will come in pretty handy. And of course the next day you hook up your solar panel and you can charge it up without having to, have, having to plug in to a power source. All right, I, as I said, I'll put a link down below to my Amazon store. Check it out and see if it suits your needs. Um, and as you know, anything that's purchased through the Amazon store, I do make a small commission on. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.